cover crops can offer numerous environmental and economic benefits, including improving soil and water quality, weed and pest control, and providing pollinator habitat. However, these benefits depend on achieving adequate cover crop growth, which is influenced by a wide range of factors that differ across farms, like soil properties, climate, and management practices. This means that we can end up with a really high biomass cover crop stand on one farm, but a very low biomass stand on another, sometimes even when the same cover crop species is grown at two farms right down the road from each other. In order to better understand why this happens, we're partnering with farmers across the Great Lakes region to gather data on cover crop growth and key factors that influence cover crop outcomes. By partnering with farmers to collect this information, we're able to expand the scope of the study to include far more locations and types of farms than would otherwise be possible. In turn, the data that farmer partners report will help inform context-specific recommendations for cover crop management across the region. The more farmers who participate, the better the recommendations will be. Participating involves just two easy steps. First, you'll need to complete a short 15-minute online survey asking questions about characteristics of your farm and management practices. This can be completed anytime before April. Second, you'll need to complete a field assessment in early April before you terminate your cover crops to estimate their growth. The field assessment should take less than 30 minutes per cover crop field and only requires a tape measure and camera. We'll even provide you with a demonstration video to guide you through the process. We encourage anyone who has overwintering cover crops currently growing on their farm to participate. All participants will receive $50 for each field they submit data for, as well as personalized data on their cover crops, including estimated cover crop biomass, nitrogen, and carbon. To learn more or to sign up to participate, visit blushlab.com forward slash research and click on the Citizen Science Project or email herrickee at umich.edu. Thanks for watching.